Okay, this little one's on uh, zeroing these uh, gauge sets. Now there's a little doohickey right here. You take your cover off, the little plastic covers off to do it. And you can adjust this all sorts of different ways. I know this kind of gets in the way, but uh, try to give you as good a view as I can. So you zero it down. You think we're done there, but you're really not because if you hit it there, uh, it's one pound high. Yeah, it's may not get much closer than that. You kind of learn how your gauges work, but you got to flip it when you're done. Uh, looks like this one is going to be probably that's about as close as I'm going to get. That's fairly close. That's your compound. Now your other one is your PSIG gauge. Uh, again you can do the same thing. You need to flip it when you're done. And see if you've got it fairly close. These things knock out of calibration very often. It's not unusual for them to go out of calibration every couple of days. You're doing quite a bit of work. So uh, they're not real accurate down here. Don't count on this for the vacuum. That's what a uh, micron gauge is for. Uh, they get beat around a lot. Uh, my gauge has never lasted me over three years. Uh, some of them less than that. Usually the gauges will get trashed and then maybe I'll get a leak in one of the hoses and you bought a new set right there. Uh, but try to keep these things up. You know, the, these things are mostly, they're not real accurate down here, but they're up in this area here to here. They're actually pretty accurate. Uh, even if they're quite a ways off down here, they still seem to be fairly close up there. So, uh, uh, you know, they're serviceable, but if you're over four, four or five uh, pounds off on this thing, that can make quite a bit of difference in the temperature, uh, evaporating temperature here, and of course condensing temperature there. Uh, not quite so picky on the condensing temperature because the gauge isn't going to show it that close anyway. But uh, that's zeroing these things out. It's just maintenance you should be doing uh, as, as needed. Uh, these these gauges are uh, they're kind of throwaway in a lot of ways, but uh, that's all on uh, manifold gauge set zeroing.